Well, we're continuing our conversation with former Major League Baseball player Tom Masney, who has made the Augusta area his home. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm good, Neil. How about yourself? Excellent. And uh, to prove it, you are whereabouts in, in Augusta is your office? So I am uh, right in Augusta by Doctors Hospital. So I'm okay. off, off of Augusta West Parkway. Yeah. Um, so right in the heart of things. We're not downtown, um, but... My wife and three kids, we all live in the Grovetown, Evans area. Mm -hmm. um, so we're centrally located to be able to access Columbia County and the businesses there and then our clients that are downtown as well. Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're in the middle of, of the doctor's hospital area, but easily accessible. I'm just kind of uh, wondering, you started um, after retiring uh, – pitching here at Progressive Field and re retiring at the age of 28. You spent the last 10 years learning about health benefits for specifically for companies. And there's so many different services that we'll go through in, an, in another segment. But I mean, we're in COVID and, and there's just the economy is different. How different is the, the benefit world than it was maybe when you started 10 years ago? You know, it's, it's come a long way. Um, I was, I guess, fortunate and unfortunate enough to, to start after the ACA, Affordable Care Act, was enacted. And 2010 is when it was voted in. 2013 is when it went into law. Um, I started in this business in 2014. So all I know is the post-ACA era. Um, prior to the ACA era, uh, insurance was you know, underwritten medically, so your conditions really played a role mm -hmm. in, in your rates. Um, post ACA era, uh, rates were determined by age and zip code. Um, over the last, I'd say eight years, it's really transitioned and insurance companies have looked at different ways of how they can fund it, um, how they can come up with creative solutions because not, not everybody needs that one size fits all approach. So I'd say really over the last eight years, it's tran transitioned. And then over the last year and a half, two years of COVID, it's really started to to bring upon the digital age. You know, telemedicine is now a huge part of healthcare. Um, being able to access the right doctors when you can, when you need to access the right doctors, and then being able to look up providers and find the right providers in your area has become very easily accessible. Sure. When you sit with a company or someone that's a business leader within a company, what's sort of in your toolkit? What are some different options that you might present just from a general standpoint you know to me it's it's getting to know what they what they want and what they're trying to accomplish with their program so you know every you know every now and then you sit down and they just want health insurance just to offer health insurance but at the end of the day it's trying to accomplish a plan for that company it's trying to determine what the right plan is for not only the owner but also for their employees because not every employee is the same you know, so it doesn't make sense to offer one plan, two plans, three plans. Um, with technology nowadays, you can have a plethora of options, and it makes the selection process very easy. Um, you know, but through our process, it's really getting to understand what they're trying to accomplish and put a five-year plan in place. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I like I like to look at it as we're gonna we're gonna crawl, we're gonna walk, we're gonna run, we're gonna fly. Mm -hmm. Right. Your your big picture is where we want to be in five years. Uh, but where are we today is what's important, um, you know, and how we get there is different, but we can implement technology. We can do different funding mechanisms, whether that's self-funded, whether that's fully insured, whether that's level funded. Um, there's a multitude of different products that we can bring to the table. What's the most requested type of service that is just a must have when someone sits down with you? You know, when somebody sits down with you, they, 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 they really just want education. Mm -hmm. You know, they want good health care at a good price. Well, good health care to everybody means different things, right? So that could be a low copay. That could be a low deductible. Mm -hmm. um, but most importantly, what people are wanting is low premiums. You know, what does it cost on a monthly basis for you, the consumer, and you, the employer, uh, to have that health care? They're wanting cheap, affordable coverage. Um, you know, and, and sometimes that's tough. It just depends on what's going on within the group and um, what their passes look like and what they're trying to get to. So, um, but I would say the first and foremost thing that they're looking for is good, affordable coverage. Okay, we're continuing to speak with Tom Masney, and Tom's website is the Pennant Group 
com and Tom has uh, a lot of specifics about, as he mentioned, different types of benefits and services and different types and ways to pay for it. Um, are employees demanding, if you will, or encouraging employers to kick in a little bit more money since there's been such a shortage of good workers these days? It's a good question. <laughs> uh, it depends on who you talk to, okay. right? You know, obviously the employees, I think, don't necessarily understand what the true cost of health care is. Mm-hmm. You know, unfortunately, I, I think employees a lot of day, a lot of times these days are more important with take home pay, which is which is important, but they want another dollar or two dollars or three dollars an hour. And they're not necessarily concerned with the health care premium until they see it come out of their paycheck. So they are desiring lower cost health care. Um, but what they don't know is what's going on behind the scenes, why their premiums are so high, and how we can actually lower those. You know, so ultimately, I think what's missing in our industry and what we're trying to fix at the Pennant Group is the transparency aspect. You know, transparency not only from a brokerage standpoint, consultant of, of how we make our money, how we get paid, and, and how we earn that, but also from an insurance carrier perspective, how they get paid and what um, is truly in their premium. And then we want to show that and educate the employees. Um, Pull back the proverbial curtain to the Wizard of Oz, right? You know, it's a big, scary wizard. And then when you pull back that curtain, it's just a little guy pulling a bunch of levers. Yeah. So our goal at the Pennant Group is to show and expose those levers and explain that to not only employees, if they want to understand it, but really to the employer um, so they better understand what's driving their costs. Well, a lot of baseball players and teams will bet on themselves, right? And yep. they think they have the ability. What about companies? Do they ever have occasion to say, you know, I just want to insure my people. I want to absorb the risk. Is there such a thing? And how does that go? There is. There is. And, it, you know, we'll look at Augusta's in the insurance world. Augusta's a small market. Mm-hmm. Um, most of the employers in Augusta are under 200 employees, I'd say they're probably under 100 employees or even 50 employees. This Mm -hmm. is a small market Mm -hmm. um, business Um, size-wise. Self-funded is what you're referring to. We're we're taking on the risk, and we're paying those claims for our employees up to a certain dollar amount. Um, There's Without getting really, really technical, um, there's safety nets that you put in in, in place to really mitigate your risk when it comes to those high-dollar claims. But self-funded has started to trickle down. Um, I would say prior to five years ago, three years ago, you wouldn't see self-funded in a group that was under 300 employees. Mm -hmm. So 300 or more employees, 60 to 70% of the time were self-funded. Nowadays, down to 50 employees is where our sweet spot is on the self-funded side. Wow. Um, And we we have safety nets that we put in place, you know, whether that's a a captive, whether that's a consortium, um, but it's, it's, grouping yourself with like-minded employers to help offset some of that risk. Okay. So there's a a bigger pot, if you will, of money and more shared risk? More shared risk. It's um, not necessarily an outlay of cost to you, but the risk you're taking on is being offset by other groups in your, in your captive or consortium. So you're buying, it's basically a buying power, right? It's like, um, let's say Costco or Sam's club. You're buying the same same materials, but it's at a cheaper cost because they buy it at a cheaper cost. Sure. So the safety nets that we can get and put in, in place with those uh, self-funded groups are at a cheaper cost because they're being purchased on a larger scale. Well, a couple of ways for you to get started. Um, you could even go to our website where Tom is one of our thought leaders. That's AugustaBusinessDaily.com. You can read and see some podcasts and then also go – to the pennantgroup.com and what does a consultation look like once they sort of um, sort of surf around a bit? Yeah, you know, a consultation for us, it's a free consultation. You know, at the end of the day, we would love to have you as a client. Uh, we understand that there's, there's existing relationships. Um, you know, I look at insurance as we all shop at the same Walmart. You know, for, for the most part, the products that we bring to the table, um, very similar in nature. Uh, you know, so if you like who you're, you're with, I encourage you to, to stay with them or, or come talk and get a second opinion, really. 
it doesn't cost you anything to talk with us. Uh, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is show you a, um, what your options look like, different avenues, um, and then just kind of expose the transparency of what's going on. Um, and then it's ultimately of, you know, who do you trust as your, your advisor? Well said, and we appreciate Tom coming in studio here today to get on Up Productions here in downtown Augusta and servicing companies really across the United States now from their hub here. And uh, you can go on to their website and learn about how you can get involved if you like.